Come visit this stretch of Blagden Avenue in Northwest DC. And the complaints about the stop sign camera here roll just as much as the traffic does. And But you feel completely like you made a stop. Oh, 100%. I always make a stop. Driver stopping us in the middle of our story to chat about the issue. Uh, and had to um, appeal it all the way to the top and won. Really? Yeah. Residents on the street with their own traffic tales. Now, we've documented the chorus of complaints about stop sign cameras, not just here along Blagden Avenue, but at multiple locations across the city. I've received two tickets on the same day. Now, no one we've talked to says drivers should ever be allowed to roll through a stop sign, but Lily Rowney, who recently received three stop sign camera tickets here, thinks something's off. You know, it's fine when it's actually catching people who are not following the law, but if they're stopping, you know, they shouldn't be getting tickets. <laughs> right now, the city has eight stop sign cameras around the district, and altogether, the I team found that the cameras have already issued more than 120,000 citations through early September of this year. That totals at least $12 million, not counting fines that might increase. Yeah, well, if you're looking for the stop sign camera with the most citations in the city, look no farther than right here 27th and R Streets in Southeast DC. So far this year, over 32,000 citations. Is this one of the things that you hear the most about from people in your neighborhood? I would say yes. Yeah, as ANC commissioner, it's been one of the biggest issues that we've dealt with. Jonathan Noble is the vice chair of ANC 4D. His district includes a stop sign camera on Kansas Avenue Northwest that itself has generated over 11,000 tickets. I don't think stop sign cameras are, are a wise policy, um, candidly. Or if we're gonna do that, then we should apply them evenly across the city and there should be much more transparency about why these locations were selected. Four of the stop sign cameras are right here in Ward 4. DDOT tells us they pick camera locations based on traffic safety assessments and the cameras could be used for quote traffic calming. DDOT also says all stop sign camera detection systems are calibrated and tested by a third party organization for accuracy yearly. The equipment is reviewed daily for performance, which includes reviewing images for clarity, as well as reviewing video that confirms that the vehicle did not come to a complete stop. I've tried to fight for those tickets, yeah. um, and they've just said, well, you, you didn't stop. Drivers are able to review the images and video attached to the citation on a public website, according to DDOT. Automated enforcement has to have people's confidence that it works, that it is about safety, not about just trying to get revenue. Council member Charles Allen sits on the district's Transportation and Environment Committee. He says the sheer number of tickets point to the fact that some drivers clearly aren't stopping completely, but he would welcome a review by DDOT. When they see that a speed camera uh, or, a stop, or a stop sign is just writing ticket after ticket after ticket after ticket, that should be a sign to DDOT that something's wrong. It's either designed wrong, it's not being implemented correctly. Well, Lily says there needs to be more education about what exactly these stop sign cameras require to avoid a ticket. Regulations say you have to make a complete stop before that white line or crosswalk. If there's no line, you have to stop before the posted sign. This camera right here alone this year, 27,000 Well, citations. I'm three of those. <laughs> And my coworkers are also part of those as well. For now, Lily avoids this stretch of road during her commute. With the News 4 I team, Adam Tuss, News 4. Now, DDOT says just because you see those cameras flash doesn't mean a citation is issued. The software is activated if the vehicle approaching is at a speed that might prevent it from stopping, according to the city. But it says the video is vetted by three legal examiners. Hmm. We have more information on our NBC Washington app. Just click on Investigation.